Hello everyone, my name is Hayden with Inventory and in this video I'm going to walk through our latest release for repair tracking. This has been a big request from many of our users. Whether you repair cell phones, computers, or any other type of product, we can now assist you in your repairs to help you track all of your labor, all of your parts, and all of your repairs in your inventory. Under here I have my inventory available. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to look at the individual one. I'm going to give you a reference to what we are going to repair. Here I have cracked iPhones. So these ones have cracked screens. We are going to repair the LCD of these and we're gonna add them back into our inventory as grade A condition in that case. Under here, under production, this is where you will manage all of your repairs. We have create production orders. We have production order outlines with everything that's listed. And then we have operations to track your labor and any additional functions. Under production orders here, I'm going to click on one that I've already pre-populated to save you some time. This year, we are going to be repairing and making an iPhone 12 from a cracked screen into a grade A condition. Here we have the order details. You can enter in the date, the due dates, the customer, the warehouse and the location where it will be. You have bill of presets here too. So if, for example, you are repairing the same item over and over, we can just assign a bill of materials preset and you won't have to enter in this information again. As you see, I already put one in there. Now we are going to have the product to produce. This is what the new product that we are going to produce. So if you're a manufacturer or you're repairing, whatever it is, this is the outcome of what your device will be. You'll enter in your SKU, your brand, your model, your new condition, sale price, any unique identifiers that will apply. In this case, that would be the serial number that you will be using. Now we're gonna go under the product materials section here. This is where you can add all the materials that you'll be using for your repairs. So as you can see, I have added my Apple iPhone 12. It's grade C. I have the unique identifier associated there. We have one quantity and our cost associated to it. I've also added the LCD, which we'll, we will be using for repairs. In this case, my system's more advanced and we are tracking all the, all the parts. You don't necessarily have to do that. If you don't want to, we can make it even easier. And here we can see the available quantity, our cost per unit and our sale price. We also have some awesome function built in that will automatically calculate your margin. For example, if I change this to 379, that's gonna update the sale price evenly to make sure that we're profitable across all our devices. Now, from this point here, we are going to be adding operations. So we have the LCD repair and my good friend Greg will be repairing this and it's going to be due, let's say tomorrow by 9 a.m. We are going to enter in the cost. On average, it costs $15 for Greg to repair this, and we are going to be processing this. Now, if you are using operations here, you can also assign any parts that you want, any additional services. So in this case, we might be doing unlocking as well from an unlocking site. We can then assign when the due date was. They might have said a few days, so we'll say in a few days. And the cost on that, it was $20, and it's processing right now. Now we'll be able to see our total cost, our total operation cost, and the total cost per unit, and then the sale price. As you can see, once we repair this, we have a lot better margins. We can then go ahead and print these labels. This will have the new barcodes on them, all the information that you need to add back into our inventory. We can download a professional uh, outline for our production order too, and then we can go ahead and create that production order. So I'll create that production order right there, and we'll have it all completed. Now that we've created a production order, you can go under production orders and see everything that we've made. In this case, I assigned an older date and this is now overdue. Some of them are complete and then some of them we still need to mark as complete. So we can look at all these items and see what's overdue and we can look under the operations as well and we can see, okay, it looks like these are complete and these are due in the next few days. This will give you an idea of all the operations that we have. We can filter out the status, see who's working on things and allow you to then go through and make sure that everybody is repairing and processing correctly. Now, once these production orders are done, we can then mark everything as complete. So this is overdue, but we can select this here and we want to complete this. That is a case in which we do want to do. But for right now, I'm gonna show you something under inventory, under stock count, we have some more advanced things that I wanna show you. Here we have the statuses and we can show you in production, produced materials and then sold materials. In production, we'll show you every single part, who it came from that's currently in production and the phones that are currently being repaired too. We can also then go to the produced material. If we've already produced something, we can see what we've produced. In this case, previously we had produced an iPhone 12, it's now good to go and it's been completed in this. 
we can see all of the data associated to it as well. Once those items are produced and we sell them, it will go under sold material here. So it'll track everything, it makes it very simple for you to use. So once this production order is marked as complete, this will be added to our inventory. It was originally an iPhone 12 damage and had an LCD associated with it too, as we mentioned here previously. That inventory will now be removed from the inventory stock count page and you will have the new iPhone, which is this grade A condition. So in order to do that, we'll go under here. I'm going to copy this unique identifier so we can remember it. Go under production orders. We are going to mark this as complete and that inventory will now update in our system. So we'll go under stock count here. We're going to filter individual. I'm going to search for that IMEI. And there we go, guys. We now have that production order that we have with a brand new grade A iPhone that can now be sold. We can track the profit associated with the operational cost too to make sure we're profitable and scalable. This is the new feature that's allowed. This is called production. This will allow you for repair tracking. There are a lot of other features that I'd love to show you and we can dive on into. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment below. Check us out on YouTube or check us out at inventory.com. Hope you have a great day and I'm glad I could show you this.